Hi, welcome to video four of the consultant's guide configuration. And in this one, I'm going to talk about the widgets. Now, the widgets you find from appearance and select widgets, and you'll see that we have a bucket load of widgets on the screen uh, all over here. So these are various sections of the blog and various areas of the blog. And this is one of the things that helps make this such a flexible theme. So basically, all the stuff on the left-hand side is available for most pages. And the stuff on the right hand side is specific to the landing page one. If you remember, landing page one is the home page. So let's just go and have a look at the home page and remind you what we've got here. We have an upper header. We have the header itself with the consultant's guide in, so the title part. We have a menu section. We have the slider. And then we have a number of sections here. Now, these sections are actually this first part with these posts in is section one. Uh, this video and testimonial is in section two. These L1 to L3 posts are in section three. Uh, the videos down here are in section four. Uh, this section is called the bottom section. And then underneath here is the actual footer. Okay, as I said, if you remember, there's a little form, so contact us there in slick forms, and I'll show you where that is in just a moment. So let's just go through these widget areas. Now just to understand, as I say, on the landing page only we have all these sections and the sections are one, two, five and six. So we have four sections and each section is split, in, split into four parts. Now what happens is if we put something into one of these sections, say A, B, C or D, it will be the full width of the page. If we drop something else into another section, so section A and B for instance, they will share the, that full width, so they will be half the page each. If you put it into three, there'll be a third of the page each. If you put all four sections or something into all four sections, then each area will have a quarter of the page each. Again, this is what help makes it so flexible and why you can change it around quite easily just by dropping stuff into one, two, three, or four of these sections. So let's just go back to the beginning then, and I'll just go through these simply in order uh, that they come up in. So blog right sidebar. So let's just see what's in there. So for every blog page in the right sidebar, you'll see a testimonial. And again, we've got the testimonials. Just choose the testimonial you want. If you want to put anything here, of course, it's just a matter of grabbing something from this left-hand side here. These are the actual widgets. And you can drag them into the widget areas, which, is, which are over here. So if I want to pull something or to grab a widget. So I just grab a widget and I can drag and drop it wherever I want. Okay, and then these are the settings for it. So let's just put that one back. If I drop it in here, it will disappear completely, so I'll just get rid of it. If I drop it down in the inactive widgets area, it'll keep the configuration and that. So if I want to save something that I might want to bring back later, drop it into the inactive widget section. If you drop it into here, you just lose it completely. Okay, so let's just look at what we've got. So let's say we've got testimonials, we have a contact form, that's the contact form in the sidebar. That's the one that we looked at configuring in an earlier video. So we just select the one you want. We've only got one in here to get that displayed. Pages, that's just a list of pages. Again, I've excluded a 208 because that's one I don't want. because it's the, it's the home page. And in fact, if I go and look in here at the moment and I look at blogs, and in the side here, we should have a list of pages. Let's so say we've got that as as a widget, but it's got 309 no title or 319 no title. I don't really want that one displaying, so I can just put a comma 319 in there and then that won't display anything in the blog right sidebar. I won't display that one. So if I save that one now, I should be able to go back and refresh this and that should disappear. And there we are. So it just keeps it nice and neat. Okay, fancy latest post widgets. Again, that's in the right-hand sidebar. And in here, you've got various configurations. You can change the color. Uh, you've got animation effects on here. And of course, again, you can exclude whatever category by category, whatever you want. 
So you only want to be displaying the ones that are in the main blog. This is one of the reasons why I put main blog on the in, in the category, and all the ones that are that have other categories other than main blog, you can exclude those categories and then they won't appear. Okay, as I said, we've only got a right sidebars set up at the moment. You can configure left sidebars if you want. I'll show you that in the next video. But for the moment, there's nothing in the left sidebars or anything in the left sidebars won't be displayed. Uh, so let's have a look at the right page sidebar. Well, I've got the fancy widgets post again, but this time it's again it's got its own configuration, so you can configure it, you can configure this separately. Uh, the banner holds actually the slider and the sliders, the huge IT slider, and that's just a short code from it. So you go into the settings in uh, the slider over here and set your slider up as I showed you earlier, and you can just copy the short code drop that in there and i've just used a text widget so let's just grab a text widget from here drop it in and then put this short code into the text widget and that's your slider done as long as it's sat in the banner section that's where it appear now we've got nothing in these top sections here in the bottom section this will be under posts and pages you've got the fancy latest widget post again this is a separate configuration. You can change the colors and the styling on here uh, for whatever you want. And that will appear at the bottom of all your content. So that's when the post or page is displayed. Okay, the bottom, this is the one, one above the actual footer itself. And you can see we've just got a mission statement. Okay, that's just a text widget with a mission statement in there. And we've also got a recent post widget. Okay, that's just pulled in from there. The header section, again, there's nothing in. The call to action section isn't really used, but I've put the slick contact form in there. Now, it doesn't matter where you put this slick contact form, it will only show up whatever you configure. So in this case, it's configured to be at the bottom right and the various times, etc. And the color is black. So that's what it displays. So it doesn't matter where you put it, you can put it into any of the widgets. I just put it into there because it was a, just a convenient place for me to put it. Now, announcements, a huge banner that will come across there. Um, probably won't want that one. Uh, breadcrumbs, again, just says we're adding breadcrumb navigation, which we're really not using. And then we've got the main sections that we have populated. So let's have a look, section 1A. So I'm using this short codes ultimate which I've created the short codes over here, or use short codes over here. And this is all configured, so you haven't really got to worry about it because this just shows, shows that it will display that particular uh, post. So and this will be the, the lead post actually at the top because it's in that first section, section 1A. So if we just go back here, and this section is one, so this will be 1A on the left and 1B on the right, okay? So, in 1B, or actually I say 1B, any of the other ones, I put it in 1D. As long as you put it in 2, it'll just split it up 50-50. And again, I've used a short code to put those three posts in there specifically. Section 2, so in one of those we've got uh, your local business online, which would be a video. Okay, so it's just got the YouTube using a nice YouTube light short code. All we do is put in the YouTube video code in there, and it'll just display that, as you can see. And similarly, we've got the testimonials. So this is a specific testimonials widget. If you look at the left-hand side, you'll see the testimonials widget there, which you can just drag across. And when you've got there, you just decide which one you want. And this, I've got two set up on that one, but you can go back and see uh, what our customers say. And that's just that's the style that we've got there. You can change that. You can change the style, etc. But that's back in the testimonials uh, plugin itself up here in the settings. If you design, if you want to go and change that. So that completes the first two sections. Then the next section, we have again. I'm using shortcode ultimate uh, to put the single post templates in there, and this is the. L1, L2, and L3. So 
So I've just used those to put an individual post in there. Okay, the last section has the four videos and each one of these I've literally just put a text widget in here and I've just taken the embed code from YouTube and dropped it into there. So each one's just got the embed code from YouTube. I just put up a 320 by 180 so they fit nicely on the page and they're all exactly the same. So if we go back to our home page, so this is one half of section one, and this is the other half of section one on the right hand side. Section two, video and testimonials, section three, L1, L2, L3, and section four, the four videos, and of course the bottom. Okay, I think that covers all the widget areas, and in my fifth and final video, we'll look at how you can customize the theme itself.